Oh no! Elaine? Oh, she's not gonna be happy about this. Hello there again. Um, you won't believe what just happened. I just filmed this whole section, about 10 minutes of it, and realized, hang on a minute, this isn't the mega monkey, and realized I'd opened the wrong game. Um, so I have to redo all of this. Anyway, you'll now find yourself on, I'm stuck. Uh, if you now find yourself on Plunder Island, and you're at the fort, uh, you'll see this sort of burnt out boat here, and there'll be a piece that's sort of separate for it all. And if you hover over it, it's called Glowing Ember. So pick that up. Ouch! Then for a laugh, you can grab the chicken. I don't yeah. think so. I'm opposed to animal cruelty, actually. No chickens were harmed in the making of this walkthrough. Uh, now you continue around the path, and you'll find that if you put your cursor to the right of the screen, it will turn to an arrow. So just click there. Oh. See, that was the one thing about the fourth game. You had a run setting on Guybrush. Oh. Anyway, you'll now find yourself at the map. If you hover over certain locations, you'll just get a red arrow with a question mark. Uh, like so. Uh, that's because you haven't been there yet. If you go to the question mark on the, like, the question mark furthest to the left, you'll have a sort of swamp area. So just head there. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, and just head up to the ship. Boom! Ha! Ah! <laughs> an old friend. Oh, it's just you again. Just your most terrifying image of evil revisited. Oh. Yeah, right. I bring you warning from the infernal realms. Darkness will envelop you. <laughs> Did you just hear someone shouting in the background? That was that was my mum, if you did hear it. Calling me for dinner, so I have to go in a minute. Do you know anything about lifting curses? Rose oh, slam. Right. I know yeah. a lot about lifting curses. That's why I'm a disembodied talking skull, sitting on top of a spike in, in the middle of a swamp. You seem bitter. I'm sorry, it's been a rough day. I'd love to stay in chat, but uh, I gotta go. Let's, let's get on with this, shall we? <clears throat> As the walk goes on, I might start double clicking, which just cuts out this irritating. Ah, slow walking generation. Now we're inside. Right, <clears throat> so on the floor you'll see some uh, paper dolls. Uh, one of them's got a very uh, obvious pin in it, so if you just grab that. Ah. What a relief. You shall meet this character later. And you also see a little pot of paste, so pick that up. Uh, and also, open your inventory and use your bag of nickels on the gum machine. <coughs> wow, I got gum. a whole pack of gum. You can only do that once, unfortunately. And then you see this big stuffed crocodile here. I mean, alligator. I mean, whatever. Um, it looks more like a crocodile to me. Um, it's tongue sticking out, so if you just grab his tongue. Jesus Christ, Tia Dharma, you've put on some weight. Um, the original Tia Dharma. As, as this goes on, if you've seen the Pirates of the Caribbean films, and most people have, you'll slowly realise that it's a very tiny bit of a rip-off of these games. Just a little bit. Um, <clears throat> now you can ask her whatever, you can ask her questions about where you are and what it's all about. But I'm going to make it quick and just go for the last option. Nice place. I love what you've done with it. Thank you. You'll have to excuse the mess. The kids came over to play with their paper voodoo dolls. They're adorable children. Would you like to see some pictures? Yes! Yes, I do want to see pictures. I want to know what they look like, because every single character seems to um, give off this idea that they're really weird. So I, I think they must be incredibly deformed, and it just gives me a morbid curiosity. But unfortunately, it, it never occurs. Perhaps later. Yes, there's no time for that now. I sense that something terrible has happened. Hey, you're good. Something terrible has happened. I finally proposed to Elaine. Congratulations. That doesn't sound so terrible. And when I placed the engagement ring on her hand, she was placed under a horrible pirate curse and trapped for eternity as a solid gold statue. Ah, oh, that explains it. I was struck with a wave of overwhelming hatred and anger. Yeah, that LeChuck was a pretty mean guy. I was talking about Elaine. 
No, there's no time to worry about that now. We have to hurry. Do not panic, Guybrush. She will be safe until we can break the curse. You only have to worry about her being stolen. Where did you hide her? Ah, shit. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> you left her out there on the beach, didn't you? You make it sound so incompetent. Go, Guybrush, hurry before you're too late. It's a bit of a rubbish boyfriend, really, isn't it? Elaine! <coughs> I've got to get her back. Ugh. This is so embarrassing. Looks like I'm gonna need some more help. <sighs> Someone's stolen Elaine. That is unfortunate. It will be difficult to get her back. Do you know who kidnapped her? Not for certain, but I suspect that it's the mangy pirates anchored in danger cold. I like how the arms of her chair are like made out of curse? something. No, Lechuk's some kind of endangered animal. Very powerful <laughs> one. Fueled by his anger and his intense frustration in dealing with the opposite sex. I have nothing here to lift so powerful a curse, but there is one way. Great, tell me. You have to replace the cursed ring with a pure one of greater or equal value. A good guideline is two months out. Oh, little and then once again, just <coughs> seriously, my throat is burning. Um, just to ask her anything. Isn't there a more anything budget conscious way to lift this curse? You should be able to do it with virtually no out-of-pocket expense. <laughs> Perfect. How? Legends speak of a whopping big diamond ring on Blood Island. Blood Island? I've never heard of it. You will soon become quite familiar with it. But you must be careful, Guybrush. I have foreseen that your journey will be filled with peril and deception. I have also seen that Blood Island will be the place where you will die. Ah, see, now that's referencing the bit I was saying about earlier. The bit where you can get into a bit of trouble. Die? D did you say die? As in me, dead. Don't be such a baby. Isn't there a less dangerous way? No. The value of the ring on Blood Island comes from its emotional significance. It represents a pure, true love. A power greater than any other. Oh... That's sweet. I I think I have something in my eye. Do not mock the voodoo priestess. Mm -mm. Right. Um, choose the top. Well, you can just sort of um, do the bottom option and leave. But you should really at least ask the first option. How do I get to Blood Island? You will need three things. A map to Blood Island, for the journey is a long and dangerous one. A seaworthy ship to take you there. And an experienced crew. Map, ship, and crew. Got it. Write that down. No, you don't need to write that down. Blood Island, here I come. Okay, and then once again, you got all these questions again that you can ask. But just Thanks leave. for your help. Gotta go. Let's just get out of here. And return back out.